Assalamualaikum dear viewers, Shweb Madhar is here with the new lecture of the electrical machine series and today we are going to discuss the DC separately excited generator and there are the two types of the DC generator. Number first is that the self excited DC generator and second one is the separately excited DC generator and today's in the today's lecture we are going to discuss the separately excited DC generator. Recall the concepts of the DC generator, there are the five essential parts of the DC machine, uh, either it can be act as a generator or as a motor. So number first is the field system, second one is the armature core, third is the armature winding and fourth is the commutator and fifth is the carbon bushes. So, the field winding and the armature winding is the major two parts of the uh, DC, any DC machine, either it is a generator or the motor. So let us discuss. The magnetic field in a DC generator is normally produced by the electromagnets rather than the permanent magnets. So magnetic field in the DC generator in the field system, so we are going to uh, you, uh, normally use the electromagnets so rather than the permanent magnets because the permanent magnets has limited properties of the magnetism. So what is the separately excited DC generator? So this is the definition as DC generator whose field winding is supplied from the independent external DC source. Independent external DC source means normally uh, it is excited from the battery. So that can be called as the separately excited DC generator. As you can see this diagram. So this is the field winding and this one is the armature winding. So recall the concept of the field winding, the field winding is used for the creation of the magnetic flux or the field uh, which can be produced by the pro producing the necessary MMF when electrical supply is connected to the field winding of the uh, yeah, uh, here in the DC machine. What happened? The necessary MMF is developed in the field winding so and the magnetic flux and the magnetic field is established. So, Armature is the working part of the or the rotating part of the DC machine. So uh, if we are given the external DC supply to the field winding of the DC generator in the case of the separately excited DC generator, so necessary MMF is produced or the develop in the field winding and hence the magnetic field is produced in the field winding in the air gap between the armature and the field winding and then armature is driven through an external primer in the case of the DC generator in which the generated EMF or the working voltage is produced and when this voltage when this uh, field winding voltage is greater this MMF is greater so the lines of cuts of the flux is maximum one and already the armature winding armature core is driven through an external primer so hence according to the Freddy's law of electromagnetic induction whenever a flux is linking with the coil is changes and EMF is induced in the uh, coil so so this was the separately excited DC generator uh, a diagram that this is the field winding which is connected with the external DC supply source and this is the variable resistor so by which we can in, uh, increase or decrease means vary the amount of the field current and then the MMF will be decreased or increase in, uh, in, in that of the in the increasing or the decreasing of the field current with respect to that and hence this is the armature. Uh, co winding or the armature with in which the generated EMF is produced, working EMF is produced, working voltage is produced and the load is connected with the armature. So the voltage output depends upon the speed of the rotation of the armature and the field current. So according to the EMF equation of the DC generator, so that is the phi and ZP over 60A. So phi is the magnetic flux okay, and n is the number of the uh, rotations of the shaft or the armature and p is the number of the poles and z is the number of the armature conductors 
and a is the number of the parallel paths. So, the value of the a is equal to 2 in the case of the uh, value of the a is equal to the 2 in the case of the wave winding and value of the a is equal to the p according to the number of the poles in the case of the lip winding machine. So, the greater the speed and the field current greater the generated EMF. So, if we are increasing the field current in the field winding of the DC separately excited generator. So, what happen the more voltage is induced in the armature co armature winding of the DC machine according to this expression. So, if we are going to uh, increase the magnetic flux or the field. So, G, uh, generated EMF will be more or either if we are going to increase the number of the RPM. So, again the generated EMF will be increased. So, the magnitude of the generated voltage depends upon the speed of the rotation of the armature and the field and hence the greater the speed and greater the field current the greater will be or higher will be the generated voltage. So, it may be noted that the separately excited DC generators are rarely used in the practice. Okay. So, the DC generators are normally of the self excited. Okay. Separately excited DC generators not, uh, rarely we are using, but we are normally using the self excited DC generator. So, there are the three types of the self excited DC generator the series wound, shunt wound generators and the compound wound self excited DC generator. Okay. So, this was the diagram and the description of the topic and then some let us discuss some formulas according to this diagram. So, this is the field winding and the voltage so this one is the VDC for example, it is uh, this uh, field winding is uh, energized or so some external battery which is the independent source and this is the variable resistor. So, the field current is produced because of the uh, uh, voltage is given or uh, through the battery to this field winding hence the IF, IF is here is the IF here is the field current okay. I A here is the armature current and E G here which is produced in the armature is the generated EMF or the voltage okay. R A here is the armature armature resistance okay or this is the resistance of the armature and this v is the terminal voltage okay now this is the armature and these are the carbon brushes and this load is connected with the armature which is the rotating part of the DC machine and the, this is the field winding which is connected with the separately excited DC independent source through which we are going to increase or decrease the field current with this variable resistor or the real state. So, if we are decreasing the res resistance the field current will be increased and more MMF is produced in the field winding and the magnetic flux will be more magnetic field will be strengthened and what happened this already armature is driven by the external prime over uh, in the case of the DC generator. So, the lines of the cuts of the flux is takes place between the field winding and already the rotating armature. So, the generated EMF is produced in the armature according to the Friday's law of electromagnetic induction. Whenever a flux is linking with the coil is changes and EMF is induced in the coil and this load current is flow because of the load which is connected across the armature terminals. So, number first is that the armature current. So, armature current is produced 
within the armature or uh, par, within the within the armature winding of the machine so here the il is equal to the uh, armature current is equal to the load current from this diagram as you can see in the case of the separately excited dc generator so what about the terminal voltage the terminal voltage means if the load is connected across the terminals of the armature so that will be the voltage which is uh, we are going to take from the load side which is the terminal voltage of the dc separately excited dc generator so we can denote it as the terminal voltage over here v is equal to eg minus this one is the generated emf generated voltage minus resistance of the armature and the current in the armature so terminal voltage in the dc separately excited generator is equal to that v is equal to eg minus ia ri so the electrical power developed in the armature so power is the product of the voltage and current always okay so here in the armature winding the voltage is the generated voltage so here this will be eg okay multiplied by the current produced in the armature so eg ia is the electrical power developed in the armature winding of the dc machine so power delivered to the load so power delivered to the load is that eg minus eg ia minus i square ra okay so now take ia is a common so eg minus ia ra so already this v is equal to eg minus ia ra so power delivered to the load is that this is already is the v v is equal to eg minus ia ra so v ia so this one is the power delivered to the load is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by the armature current electrical power developed in the armature is the product of the eg multiplied by the ia okay and the terminal voltage uh, across the armature terminal at which the load is connected so v is equal to that eg minus ia ra and the armature current is equal to that of the load current in the separately excited dc generator so this was the whole lecture regarding the separately excited dc generator in which in which we have discussed some mathematical expressions formulas related to that separately excited dc generator and uh, what is the separately excited dc generator a separately excited dc generator is that whose field winding is supplied from an independent dc source so that it can be called as a battery so that is called as the separately excited dc generator and here the field winding is fire winding is excited from the separately excited dc source and armature uh, load is connected across the armature terminal so this was the whole lecture regarding the separately excited dc generator <coughs> i hope that you have uh, enjoyed the today's lecture and at the last at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shoaib mehta for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area thank you